I've been using Metrical for nine months to schedule social media posts, engage with followers, and track my online growth. And today, I'm excited to share my step-by-step -step tutorial with you. If you're on the lookout to expedite your Metrical learning curve from beginner to pro, you're in for a treat. I'll walk you through connecting accounts, scheduling social media posts, and some of the features that weren't exactly intuitive, but have really revolutionized my social media game. Let's go. Hey friends, welcome back. Joe Zeppelin here. On this channel, we talk about everything AI, business, and tech. And today we're talking about Metrical. Now, a quick disclaimer here, I am not mm -hmm. sponsored by Metrical. I've been using Metrical for about nine months to schedule my social media posts, and it genuinely saves me about five hours a day, and I think it can really help you out. All I ask in return is that you smash that like button right at the bottom of this video and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner. It really helps the channel grow, helps us be able to make more videos like this in the future. Now let's get started. Signing up for Metrical is free and here's a list of all the different social media platforms you're going to be able to connect. All you have to do is simply add your email and get started. When you log into Metrical for the first time, you're going to see this screen here where you're going to be able to add all your different social media accounts. So on the left side, it's going to show all the different accounts you can add and then this plus button. If you click that plus button, it'll allow you to sign into that account and it will also give you specific instructions on what's required to sign into that account. Now, this is something about expedited that learning curve that I wanted to mention to you earlier. This part took me multiple revisions to learn. So I'm going to go put the requirements up on the screen right here on what you need to have to connect each one of these accounts. For instance, in order to connect Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, these have to be business accounts. Now for Facebook, a business account is the equivalent to a Facebook page. And on Instagram or TikTok, these are listed as business accounts or creators accounts. These changes are all free to make and are super simple. All you have to do is go into the settings under your standard account. So your standard account for Instagram, for instance, instance, go into settings and toggle on the specific button. Right here on the screen, I showed a quick example on how to do this on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. The other big difference to note is if you're connecting a website, so you want to publish stuff on a blog or a website or something like that, the only easy one to connect is WordPress. There's a button that allows you to connect straight to your WordPress website, which WordPress is a website builder. You can connect the other two using this type of code here, but it's way more confusing and require a little bit more work. If you've never made a website and you're interested in making a website, I have a video listed right up here on the top five website builders, depending on what business model or what website niche you're trying to create. All five of these are free and I'd highly recommend starting with that video if you're interested in making a website. Now that all your accounts are connected, let's go through and show what the process is for scheduling a social media post. So on the top of the screen here, you're gonna see five different tabs. One of those tabs is our post planner and that's under the planning tab. Let's navigate here. In Metrical's post planner, you're gonna be able to view, schedule, and create all of your social media posts. And here I'm gonna show on the screen what this looks like looking at a daily, weekly, or monthly view. Now to create a post, simply click new posts in the top left corner. And here you're gonna be able to look at all the different platforms that you connected and you can choose to post on. So you can simply go and toggle on the different platforms that you want this social media post to be presented on. If it's a platform like Facebook or Instagram that has multiple options like stories, reels, or generic posts, you can select this here and then go to the text box below and add your post. What I really, really like about Metrical is at the bottom, it has guidelines and requirements for what's needed to post there. For instance, some platforms require media posted like TikTok, it needs to be a photo or a video. Some platforms have specific character limits. Right now on the screen, it's really important to pay attention to the character limits. I put all the different platforms up here and what their maximum character limit is. If the character limit is longer than that, Metrical is not gonna let you schedule that post. So make sure you pay attention to these. For instance, Pinterest and Twitch have a much different character limit than YouTube or even look at Facebook's. That's kind of crazy. Now that your platforms are selected and your post is typed out, the next part is to choose when you want to schedule your post. Simply scroll down to the bottom and choose the date and time. But this leads us to our next question. How do I know when to schedule my social media posts? Well, Metrical has the answer. My favorite Metrical feature is it actually recommends when the best time to post is based on when your audience is online on that specific platform. And you can see 
that with these shaded colors here. They actually do something pretty cool, which is if you're toggled on Facebook, the bulk of your following is on the darkest blue colors because Facebook is blue. If you do Instagram, this pink color, TikTok, you can see these in gray and black. It's a huge help to know when to post your social media content. Now, a good rule of thumb is you want to post your content right before the bulk of your audience is online. For instance, for YouTube, for our channel, you can see here that most of our audience is on Monday to Friday, weekday mornings, right? So we schedule all of our videos to come out on 5.30 a.m. on a Monday. So the bulk of our audience can view our posts and it's a new thing that's on their platform when they're traditionally on the platform. This has been a huge help to revolutionize my social media game. Before we move on to my favorite metrical feature, YouTube analytics shows that less than 1% of the people watching videos on the channel are actually subscribed. Since we release videos every Monday morning at 5.30 on AI Business and Tech, if you want to stay up to date on these, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner. It really helps us out. And you're simply getting notifications like this one on how to use ChatGPT to optimize search engine optimization and what types of hashtags to use for your social media posts. This one is definitely a game changer. Now, the single feature that has allowed me to grow my online presence the quickest is Metricool's Data Analytics Dashboard. On the Analytics tab, you're going to be able to see helpful trends for all of your social media accounts. You're going to be able to see your followers, your engagement, your click-through rate, and even personally, my favorite, customer demographics. Now, Metricool's free version allows you to see the last three months of data for all of your connected social media accounts. You can choose to upgrade to their paid version where you can see content as long as your accounts were connected. And here on the screen are the different prices and the different packages that come with each one of those memberships. Now, like I said, I've been using Metricool for nine months. I use the free version. I think it's plenty good enough. It does everything I need it to do. So I'd recommend probably just staying with the free one. But if you need to, here are the different options below. Of all the features we're going to talk about today, the one that has allowed me to engage with my social media community the most is this inbox management tool under the inbox tab. Here, it's really easy to toggle between social media platforms and respond to comments, direct messages, and threads. Something I really like to do is filter for the unread category. This is going to show all your different social media platforms and which comments and direct messages you haven't responded to. This allows you to engage with your community more efficiently, quicker, and plus this is a huge huge component to growing your social media following and really connecting with your audience. If you're liking this video, let's connect. Put a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. Lastly, I want to show you one final trick to ensure that all of your followers on one social media account have the opportunity to follow you on your other social media platforms. It seems kind of pointless to have someone follow your content on TikTok, but not Instagram or Snapchat. There needs to be an easy way to connect that follower across all your social media platforms. You essentially need a centralized hub where they can connect to these with one click of a button. And that's what we're going to talk about here. Now to create this centralized hub, you essentially have two options. Metricool has this one tool called Smart Link. It's one of these tabs up here where you can have a centralized hub where someone can connect to all your different social media accounts. Personally, I don't use Smart Link and I'm not a huge fan of it. It's very limited in the type of branding and customization and the types of links you can add and the type of social media you can add, but it is free if you sign up for Metricool. The tool I use is Linktree. Now, Linktree is also a free tool. It recently partnered with TikTok to bring more content to creators, and it's one centralized hub with unlimited customization for free that you can connect someone to all your different social media accounts with one click of a button. Simply share with them your Linktree, and they can go through and connect, 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 connect. If you want to learn how to do this and you found enjoyment out of this video, I recommend you do three things. One, like this video. It really helps us out. If you stayed this long, I hope you enjoyed it. Two, subscribe to the channel so next Monday you get a notification on the new things we're doing on the channel. And three, go make a link tree. It'll take five minutes. It's our most popular video on the channel. You'll be happy you did. As all things small business, start small, start today. I'll see you in the next video.